Now this is the big one that's had a lot of publicity and it's the increased age pension age. Now I mentioned with Peter Murphy at the start that those people that were born after 1952, but it's not 1952, those that are born after 19, July 1958 are going to be impacted by this latest change. So this was previously in place, the Labor government increased the age pension age to 60 depending on what your date of birth is. Now the, the budget has announced that they'll increase, they'll continue this process of increasing it to the, to the point that if you were born after the 1st of January 1966, you're only going to be eligible for the age pension at age 70. And I guess you need to factor that in as you're planning for your retirement because if you retire before your age pension age and you're going to be at least partly reliant on the age pension, if you retire earlier than your age pension age, then you need to uh, support yourself for that longer period and it does eat into your assets. Uh, I think I did a calculation a while ago that if you wanted to retire on $50,000, and it's probably changed now, and you were going to be reliant at uh, $50,000 on you know, income to live on in retirement and you wanted to retire at 65, then you needed $500,000 to support yourself. At your life expectancy of 80 odd thousand, uh, 80 odd years, you would have no superannuation left, but you've been able to provide for your retirement of around $50,000 of income. Now, if you, were, uh, if you want to retire five years earlier, no, I think it was 10 years earlier actually, at 55, you needed an extra $300,000 to provide for that retirement, the same retirement of $50,000. So you needed $800,000 if you wanted to, wanted to retire that little bit earlier. So you, if you are wanting to retire before your age pension age, then it does have a big impact on your retirement savings.